So this whole situation going on with Justin Roiland is something that I talked about previously, but I didn't expect any news to come out about it anytime soon. So I was pretty surprised when I found out the charges were dropped and he made a statement about it. Now, what's interesting about this statement is that it's good enough for me for him to be innocent, right? But as you know, online, it is guilty until proven innocent, even though in every other walk of life in the real world, it is innocent until proven guilty. So all that aside, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that's gone. Unless I see more evidence of it, I don't care about that anymore because a court of law, which is the only court that really matters in a legal case for domestic violence and false imprisonment, they ruled that he's good. So I'm, I'm good. That's the way I just view it. So originally when he put the statement out, I liked the tweet and I was like, oh yeah, maybe he'll come back to Rick and Morty. And then I scrolled down into the replies to his tweet and I, I was pretty surprised. So it turns out that I had completely forgotten about all of the DMs that he had gotten in trouble for after the whole, oh, he's getting charged with this and this and this. After all that dropped more people started coming out and at first i was like oh yeah well none of this is confirmed until i saw uh this clip that i I think will shed a bit of light it is a long clip but it's very insightful and it's very important so let's get right into it so i am the original poster of this tweet um it's about how back in september 2015 when i was 16 years old justin roland had followed me on twitter And I messaged him first because I was excited. The man who made my favorite show followed me. So made me feel a little bit special. But um, people don't think it's real and I'm here to prove it. So here are the DMs, do a little scroll. I told him I was 16. He said he's looking for my pictures and knows why he added me. Says I was super cute. And let's just go up here, new tab. And it is him. The full screenshots were of like a whole print screen at the time. And yeah, that's why the format looks a bit weird, but yep. And then once you turn 18, you should just start cam whoring. And here's me just completely ignoring that. It's insane in the membrane. No. So as you can see, this puts things in a very different light. Because now it seems as though Justin's a bit of a weirdo at best. And I, I mean, I, if I had a daughter who was 16, I wouldn't want him around my daughter. If I, I don't even know how that could be doctored, but it, it looked real to me. But again, I don't want to say anything. You never know with people today. I mean, it could be just anything, but from, from what I just saw, it looks like that was him. Like I'm like 99.999% sure. And though point oh oh one is like oh uh, well maybe you never know but outside of that this is just so insane to me. like i wow wow like that's the best word i can use for it like if you watch my second channel or my this the video where i was talking about him last i you know i'm a big fan of him like i really enjoy rick and morty but it, it's so crazy to me to see stuff like this man like what is it with these people and going after like underage girls bruh like it's either you have a mediocre music career as a, like a big youtuber or you go after kids or you do neither and you just go past i don't know it's like a it's like a gate when you get big enough on youtube you either walk through one of those so uh to be safe i'm gonna make music <laughs> so so I don't have to deal with that. Uh, but on, on a serious note, I, I really wonder how he's going to, you know, 
react to this and, and what i mean by that is how justin Rowling is going to move forward because if these dms can be you know supported with evidence how many more dms can be supported with evidence how many more dms can be shown to people as like hey he's a bad person he's doing these things that he's claiming that he's not doing he's talking to minors and you know having really odd and inappropriate conversations with them so I, it's, I don't know man i went from hoping that he'd come back to rick and morty to now i'm just like yeah just stay away you know just go live it he probably has enough money to just not work again so just go over there go not work that's fine stay not working all right don't <laughs> shut down your twitter shut down all your social medias and if that's a crime I think that he should be persecuted, prosecuted, not persecuted. I don't know why I said persecuted, but I, I'm not exactly sure on the laws around that because it, it's not like they they exchange any types of like illicit material, as far as we know. So, as like a prosecutor, where do you go from here? But I think his career is done. It just is like. He's already getting called guilty for the domestic violence and battery charges, or not battery, but um, false imprisonment charges. So he's got that on his back, and he's got all this other stuff to deal with. He's, like, it's just, it's pretty much over. It's over. It's been over for a while, and it's it's hidden now. I know he said that he wanted to restore his good name, but I don't know how you're going to do that, man. It, it looks like it's over. I'm, I'm not down not down as much as i enjoy rick and morty i thought it was you know an all right show i really liked it i never really thought it was funny but i, I always enjoyed it because i thought it was interesting but I, I think it's over it's really over now they're going to continue with rick and morty it's probably gonna be like eight more seasons of it but i, I think as for justin it's it's over there's no there's no way forward for him other than a jail cell if he's you know as, as predatory as people are saying he is so yeah that's uh disappointing thank you all so much for watching uh, my resident evil 4 video will be out tomorrow and next week i will i, I don't know which video i'm gonna make uh pro probably possibly i should say a resident evil 4 remake video who knows that might come later on in april we i i don't know we, we never know here at uh, door dog Produ productions i said productions let me get out of here thank y'all again goodbye